Hey everybody, welcome back again to another video. So we got a new IGN interview with the where they interviewed Ian Flint, who is who is the writer for Sonic Frontier. So let's get into it. You've been intricately tied to the series for a long time now, whether through comics, TVs, or games. What has it been like taking the reins of writing Frontier's story compared to everything else you worked on? It's a very different experience to be sure. With the other time media, I'm the one who depicts the story of the characters, the themes with Sonic Frontiers, so I can provide the story, backstory, plot beats, usable characters, and so on. So it was a very different approach to telling the Sonic story than what I'm used to. All that aside, it was a dream come true to work on a major Sonic titles like this, an incredible learning experience I hope everyone enjoys what I was able to bring to the table. Yeah, I hope so too, because like you? Because Ian Flynn, he's done some good work. When there were, because he was, believe it or not, he's actually been involved in the cutscenes for Sonic Origins. And obviously he, he's a big factor in the comic books too, which I've read the comic books from time to time, so. And generally, they're all pretty well written, uh, I think so. So I'm very curious to see what he does with a big game like this. So, anyway, continuing. Can you give us a brief overview of what Sonic Friends are up to? Sonic Tails' name is embarked for the Starfall Islands to investigate the disappearance of the Emeralds. Things take a turn for the dramatic immediately, and Sonic's left alone with a lot of questions. The story is his journey to continue all the mysteries of the islands, to rescue his friends, and discover how everything ties together. Hmm, now we know why they went for the Star Fox in the first place. And it's because of, obviously, the Chaos Thermals, which are finally a big focus again, because they haven't been a big focus in the games, like, they weren't even related to the story at all in Sonic Forces, like, at all. Like, like the only reason they were there is just so you could become Super Sonic. That's the only freaking reason. Generations, it kind of was. Kind of was a factor. Um, I don't think... I don't remember if they were uh, kind of a any mention at all of them in Lost World, I have no idea, I didn't play that game, and, and I don't think they were in Sonic Boom either, so it's been a while. Pro I would say the last major Sonic game to have them in the storyline was probably Sonic Unleashed in terms of 3D games, but obviously Sonic Mania, so, but, so very interesting to see where they go. Anyway, continuing. Being open zone game, Sonic Frontier story is told much differently from than previous games. Can you talk about the challenges of writing a story for a non linear game? The biggest question was how to pace out each story view and the player has the freedom to take the islands at their own pace. That had to be message to revise as the game structure took shape. It will be interesting to see how it all comes together in the finished project. Like I said before, very interesting to see how Ian does writing because he's I don't think he's ever written, you know, a game story. So at least a at least a big one anyway. So I'm very curious to see what he does. Anyway, continuing. Who is your favorite Sonic character to write for? Does it change from comics to games? I try to find something fun in all of them, but letting loose to Dr. Eggman is always a delight. We get to take his character in some interesting directions in Sonic Frontiers. Ooh. You know what would be a twist? That he's act that he's not the main villain after, you know, he was in Frontiers, and if he's the main villain, hope they actually make it you know, like, let they go all out with him, you know, him be the, the diabolical genius that he is. So, anyway, continuing. Playing Sonic Frontiers, I get the feeling of a very lonely and mysterious atmosphere with them. Monocularly, I probably said it wrong, well, said that wrong. Piano, anyway, piano melodies, anyway. An island that's largely devoid of life and a Sonic who starts the game separated from his friends. How does this feeling that emanates from the gameplay translate to the tone of the story? Can, can you talk a bit about writing for Sonic in this unique setting? Monocularly, I... I don't know if I said it right. Anyway, it's a good word for the story overall. Sonic's indomitable spirit carries him throughout the adventure, and it's what allows him to help each of his friends to tackle their own personal challenges. Hmm, interesting. This next line, though. Someone else you encounter will have their very identity shaped by their interactions with Sonic, which isn't always a comfortable process. Ooh. Ooh, that, ooh, that sounds like a tease to me of that, you know, that AI character we've been hearing about in leaks, so maybe this was, I, I think this was probably our first tease from somebody who has been actually involved in the game, with the game's development and all that, in terms of its story, so... Ooh! Ooh, we might... Ooh, I hope... I hope... So, hopefully we get a story trailer, because I, I really can't wait to see and find out what this new character is, so... Cause that we've been hearing so much about. Anyway. Anyway, continuing on. Then there's the secrets to the Star Files themselves, and how strategies of the past have led to this adventure today. Sonic's never say die attitude is certainly put to the test. All that's to say, though, while it can feel very lonely, it never feels hopeless because you got Sonic on your side. Ooh, that sounds like music to my ears. Challenge Sonic's never say die attitude. You mean his character will actually, you know, progress forward? Music to my ears. Music to my ears. Just give it to me. Ugh. 
I can't wait to see how they nail it. So hopefully it's good. hopefully it has excellent writing, which I I would assume it does since Ian Fleming's behind it. So anyway, to finish this off, what do you hope players get out of the story in Sonic Frontiers? For new players, I hope they enjoy their time with Sonic, get to know him, know his friends, and are satisfied with the journey and cover all the mysteries of the game. For veteran players, I hope they enjoy the individual character arcs and threads I try to weave between Sonic Frontiers and the rest of the Sonic series. Ooh, sounds good to me. It seems like they're gonna. So, so I want. Sounds like he might be pulling from the larger Sonic canon for this. Awesome music to my ears. So, hopefully this actually like sets a trend for the future of the series in terms of its writing. So, I guess the plot itself really. But anyway, to finish on this interview, the Sonic fan base is one of the most passionate fan bases across all of games, and it seems like you're really taking to be an active part of it from your podcast where you often do Q&As to so literally write in Sonic Encyclopedia. I have that, by the way. Given all that, what does Sonic its fanbase mean to you? Their constant source of inspiration, their passion for the, fan ba for the franchise is unquenchable, their creativity is boundless, and loyalty unshakable. It's always growing fulfilling when something I contribute to gets embraced. They serve as a constant reminder of where I came from and why I enjoy being part of it for so long. And they steadily been joining the ranks of official contributors helping to shape the future of the next generation. It's very exciting. Okay, so before I kind of give my final thoughts on this interview, which was good, by the way, uh, there was actually been a bit of leak, as you know, Sonic Gorgeous is, you know, is officially out by the time you see this video, and turns out there's actually been files of uh, the Sonic Frontiers actually in the files of Sonic Gorgeous, so this isn't all of them, um, th this is, this is, like, first 34 of it, so I believe there's over 100 files, so if you want to see them for yourself, I've seen some of it, and some of us seem to tease like characters that are in the game, so that would obviously lead to spoiler territory, so if you want to see it for yourself, I'll post a link to it down in the description so you can check it out for yourself, but I'm not going to really go over it, you know, what I've seen from it, so cause that that's obviously, you know, a possible spoiler, so take that as you will, so anyway, to, what did I think of this, this I think it was pretty good. We definitely see, got some new story details. You now explaining, now explain, now we know why Song Tales and Amy went to the islands in the first place. Seems like the chaos elements are our big focus of the game. So finally, after so long, you know where they've been kind of on the, you know, wayside. Now they're back to the forefront in terms of the story. So I'm very curious. Sounds like you know this new interview brought. You know, happy to my face because in terms of like how the story might be playing out. So I'm very curious to see how it goes. So, you know, what do you think of this new interview? Let me down in the comment section below. If you liked this video, hit the like button on the way out. And consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any more videos should you choose to. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later.